All right, there you go. You might actually be able to see me now, but uh, I'm out on Lake Lanier this morning. It's probably only about seven o'clock right now. I got to the ramp around 6.30 or so. And because of daylight savings, uh, sunrise is now about 7.45, so it's not gonna get light for a little while, but I'm out here pretty early. The water temp, the water temp is 54, which is about what it was two weeks ago. It should have been warmer, but uh, because we had like a few kind of a cold snap, the water temperature is about the same. But since I'm out here so early, I might try some top water. I don't have anything tied on top water, but I might tie on a popper uh, and just throw it at a point a little bit before it gets before sunrise. See if I can catch something. If not, hopefully I can catch some fish today. Uh, I'm thinking they'll probably be up shallow, maybe around docks. I'm not totally sure, but we'll have to uh, try to figure it out and hopefully catch some fish. Got one on the crankbait. I tried top water, it didn't get anything. Got a little spot, I think, maybe a large mouth. Okay, not bad. First fish of the day, a boat was passing by. I caught a fish as they were passing by. All right, the, I caught a fish on the crawfish crankbait pretty fast last time. It was a three and a half pound largemouth, uh, much better than this fish, but. It's a solid little spot of bass, probably a, about a pound and a half. Definitely a keeper, so not a bad way to start the day. If you've watched my channel much, you probably know I like to weigh my fish. I'm guessing this guy is a pound six ounces. I always like to guess. You probably know that if you watch my channel at all. A, oh, a pound and nine. Okay, bigger than I thought. So yeah, I mean, basically a pound and a half. All right, it's nice to get a fish pretty fast. Nothing hit top water, but something hit the crankbait pretty fast. That's definitely a good sign. A little one and a half pounder. And I just took a selfie with it and realized that I forgot my sunglasses at the truck, which kind of stinks, but it's pretty cloudy right now. So I really don't need them anyway. There's a fish. Oh, it's a little guy. Doubt he's a keeper. Ooh, looks like he's gonna fling out of the boat. Yeah, it's another fish. It's pretty small. Probably not a keeper. Yeah, he's not a keeper. <laughs> he's maybe 13 inches. But hey, it's another fish. And it's also on that red crankbait, basically doing the same thing, just working this bank. So maybe I'm onto something. Yeah, he was only 12 and a half inches. <laughs> pretty small, definitely not a keeper. We'll let him go. Is that a fish? No way. No way. I got one. It was just sitting there, dude. What the heck? Oh my gosh, there's another fish that was right behind it. The fish behind it was slightly bigger. Okay, well there might be a school of them here. This one is not a keeper either. <laughs> the one behind it was a little bit bigger, might have been a keeper. This guy might have, this guy might be a 13 incher because he's a little bigger than the one I caught. That's two casts in a row. I literally like paused the crankbait because I was adjusting the boat and got another one. It's kind of crazy, but he's tiny. Oh yeah, there's there's still some fish under there. I'm gonna let this guy go. There's one, this one seems better. Definitely seems better. Yeah, he's a keeper. Better than the last two, second biggest of the day. All right. Wow, and this was about five minutes after those last two, so they're in this area, it seems like. Okay, this one's around a pound, and I think it'll be 14. It's gonna be close. All right, he was like 14 and a half, maybe 14 and a quarter. I'm gonna guess, oh, I don't know, a pound, three ounces. My scale is on low battery, apparently. Probably because I use it a lot. And he's a pound, three ounces. That was right. Let him, let him go. This crankbait's uh, doing pretty well so far. There's a fish. Oh, this little dock right here reminds me of a dock I caught some fish off of last time. Oh, it's a little guy. It's a little spotted bass. 
first one on the shaky head. It's been a good hour probably. Maybe not, well, yeah, it's probably been an hour since I caught a fish. The sun is definitely up now. And now I'm kind of wishing I had my uh, sunglasses out here, but that's okay. Just got another one. We were on some fish today. Not necessarily on some, the size, but uh, hey, I'll take it. All right, I backed away from that dock a little bit because I think there could be some more fish under there. But I'm going to go ahead and release that one. There he is. There he is. I just missed. Oh, come on. I thought like he was a big fish, but I uh, I missed him. He came back for it, hooked him, and then he just got off. There's a fish back in the creek I scouted this creek last winter thinking it'd be good for uh, springtime here I am in the springtime got a fish so best fish of the day Ooh, there we go a two pound largemouth so yeah this creek it's got like a hard bottom it's pretty shallow and I remember I think it was sometime in December after the morning bite died and I was kind of near this creek channel or near this creek I wanted to explore it and I thought it would be a really good place to come back in the spring there we go nice healthy largemouth it's our sixth fish our third keeper um, I don't know he might be like a pound and three quarters but it, it's a solid fish all right and I pretty much weigh all my keepers I'm gonna guess he's a pound 13 just an ounce over a pound and oh two pounds one ounce he's a two pounder four ounces over what i guessed not bad saw a little two pound largemouth all right best fish of the day two pound largemouth i'll definitely take it there she goes and there's a small creek back in there i believe there's also a creek back there there might be a tiny one right over there so it should be a good area for uh, springtime Oh my gosh, I had a fish on, you're kidding. Did y'all see that? I thought I was stuck on the branch, so I was trying to pull it off the branch. That fish was there. Dang it, that was a large mouth. It wasn't bad, I mean, it's maybe a pound and a half, but. There's one right under the dock. Feels good, decent. Okay, it's not that big, but I'll take it. There we go. Stock looked good. Had a bunch of those black floats, which is what these bass like to hide under. It's a little large mouth, maybe 14 inches. It's been a little while since I caught one. I mean, well, I guess I caught one right there and then I lost one in that uh, shallow flat over there. And there literally is one, two, three creeks back here and just a bunch of shallow, uh, hard bottom. So this should be a great spot for largemouth to spawn. All right, this fish was literally 13.75. I knew he was gonna be close, but not quite a keeper there. All right, y'all, well, I'm on my way out of the park right now. Not a bad day out there. Um, unfortunately, my trolling motor ended up dying. Well. It didn't fully die. What it basically does is it just like slows down slower and slower and slower. And I could see the boat ramp from a couple hundred yards away and it took me a while to get back. I actually started paddling, but it was also pretty windy. So I was out there for about five hours. I caught seven fish, didn't get anything too big, but still caught, you know, a good bit of fish. So I'm definitely pleased with that. And I did get one two pounder, which isn't too bad. So the crawfish crankbait started off working really well. I caught four in the morning. Uh, pretty fast all in the first hour and then caught three the next like you know four hours of fishing but still I'll take it I lost a couple that I shouldn't have lost uh, which kind of stinks that one I had 
over a tree branch. I thought I was stuck on the tree branch, so I was just pulling it, and it was that fish that like came up and surfaced. So that kind of stinks, but nonetheless, it was not too bad of a day of fishing out here on Lake Lanier. Um, and I'm sure I'll be back soon. Hopefully they'll be bedding soon. I think they should be. Um, and I can catch some bed fish, maybe some largemouth. That one area I was in, uh, that one creek, like just a shallow flat with hard bottom looked really good. I think there'll definitely be some uh, largemouth spawning there. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I'll catch you all on the next video. Thanks for watching.